the Strong Mom channel. My name is Denise, and today this is your third trimester workout. Now, you're in your third trimester. You've got just a little bit of ways to go. We're gonna take it slow. We've got a full body workout here. We've got strength, we've got cardio, and we've got some stretching. We are working to our body's ability. We are not pushing heavy weights. I'm gonna be using a set of five pounds and a set of three pounds. In fact, you could even use no weights for this workout. So I want you to listen to your body. I'll be cueing you throughout. So I want you to find a nice comfy spot on the ground. And I also want you to prepare by having a chair nearby that we'll also be using. So let's get started. All right, ladies, come on to the ground and we're gonna get started here. No chair needed, so we'll get that out of the way. I want you to come seated and I want you to take your feet out in front of you. Yes, you may need to go a little bit wider for that baby belly. I want you to take your hands back behind you and we're just gonna do a little hip opener. So I want your knees to fall down to the side. And if both of those knees, specifically the one that's hitting the inner knee cannot go all the way down that is okay we're just warming up here and yes your butt can come off of the ground just getting those hips our hips at this point we want them to be nice and open and flexible in order to birth our baby i want you this time to take so i'm kind of bringing my knees over to the right and i want you to reach with the left I want you to reach as it feels good in your back and switch sides. Go at your own pace here. Some of you, this might feel really good to really, really reach and go quickly. Some of you might want to go a little bit slower. We'll go one more each side. And last one right here. I want you to come into an all fours position. So slowly make that transition to where you are on your knees and on your palms. From here, I want you to take one hand up. I'm gonna bring my left arm up and I want you to shift those hips back almost as if you were going to, into a uh, child's pose. And I want you to reach that arm up, come back. And if you can, look at that arm as you're reaching. Now we wanna work in some of our exhale breath, just hugging and wrapping the, the baby gently as you come up in this position here. And we're gonna switch arms, other side. Send those hips back. Exhale, gently wrap the baby with your TA. That's your deepest core muscle here. And again, go at your own pace. You guys got it. Keep it up, we are almost done. Last one, right here. Nice job. I want you to grab that weight, just one weight only. I'm just gonna bring it close to me. I want you to come into a uh, kneeling position. If you need to bring your knees apart, great. I want you to take your weight and we're gonna bring it here into a goblet. So you can hold it in nice and close to your chest. From here, I want you to exhale, gently draw in the belly and come up and back down. If you wanna do this without the weight, by all means, go ahead. And I want you to move in a way that feels enjoyable for you today. And I want you to remember, if you come back and do this workout a couple days from now, your energy levels, everything may have changed. So I want you just to go with the flow. Remember that every day in your third trimester is different. Exhale on the way up, you got it. And down. Last one. Nice job. Good, bring that weight to the floor. Just a reminder to 
just respect your symptoms. If you are just not feeling like working out today, if you're like, you know what, that exercise, I don't like it today, I don't wanna do it today. My body doesn't feel like it wants to do it. I want you to respect that. Do not push through it. I want you to bring your arm in nice and close. We're gonna be coming up into a side plank. So at the top of the plank, the shoulder should be directly under. Your shoulder should be above your elbow, elbow directly underneath your shoulder. All right, so you can have your knee stacked, you can have one leg out extended, and exhale as you come up, inhale down. Come on, we've got five more if you can. If you're going slower than me, that is okay. This is the tempo pace that I'm going at for me and my body today. Yours is gonna be a little bit different. And I want you to recognize that and honor that. Last one. Nice job, let's come down, switch sides. Take the time you need, we've got 10 of these. All right, again, knees can be stacked or that leg, top leg can be extended out. All right, I'm ready when you are, let's go. And if you feel like you need to place that hand down in front of you for support and stability, that is okay. Find a way that you can do this exercise that feels good in your body, doesn't you know create too much pressure or tension anywhere, and if it's just too much, done. Say, you know what, I can do three reps of those. <laughs> I'm gonna sit the rest out, and that is okay. And again, we just need to respect how our body feels today. Tomorrow, it might be a totally different ball game. Nice job, come on, last one. Nice work. All right, we're gonna slowly come on up to standing. We got a little cardio sequence here. So I want you to take your heels to kick your butt. Now you might not kick your butt entirely, but you're trying to get those heels back to your butt. And I want you to work those arms at the same time, like bicep curl. All right. Let's change up the arms here. If you guys wanna go at a faster pace, Cool, do that. Let's change the arms, we're gonna keep the legs, and we're gonna go 90 degrees. You got it. Feels good to move our bodies today. All right, let's go into a semi squat and a little kick. Mini squat and kick. And the reason we're not going into really deep squats now, at this stage in third trimester, our pelvic floor has been stressed a lot, right? Our babies have even got probably 25 pounds of just pressure down on our pelvic floor. And we just wanna protect the uh, pelvic floor muscles, all the connective tissue, and just, you know, not have to uh, overdo it. So we're just gonna do a little squat here. And shake that out, nice job. Okay, so next one we've got is knee up, arms over. Okay, yes, you might not be able to bring the knees out right out front, out to the side to avoid the belly. And again, respecting any symptoms that we might feel on our pelvic floor, maybe heaviness, bulging sensation, you might wanna take the knee uh, down a little bit lower and not as high as knee and that's okay too. Remember, we want to um, just preserve the integrity of our pelvic floor muscles and not put any more stress on it. You got it. Nice job, come on, a few more seconds left here. Good, let's switch it up. And I want you to tap back, tap back, working those arms.
Are we smiling yet, ladies? Are you feeling good? Because <laughs> I am. All right, ladies, let's shake that out. Okay, this at this point, I want you to grab your chair, although it is not entirely necessary, um, but I always do like to have a chair nearby to help support us, um, you know, with stabilizing ourselves and our bodies when we are doing body weight strength exercises. So we are going to start with some lunges and I wanna do a reverse lunge. So I'm gonna just place my left hand on the chair here. I'm gonna step back with my left and come down. Now, again, I'm not going completely down into like a low, low lunge. Again, just trying to protect the integrity of my pelvic floor. And at this point, you might also wanna change your strategies of breathing. So if you're feeling like, ah, oh, every time I come up, oh, I just feel heaviness. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to inhale with me. And I want you to exhale all the way down, engage your TA, exhale, exhale all the way down and exhale all the way up, reset. Good. Come on, can we do two more? Last one. And when I say respect your symptoms, you know, you may have been able to do four of those and after the fourth rep, you're like, uh-uh, it's just not feeling good down there. Great, I want you to take a rest, right? I want you to say, uh-uh, my body's not ready for more, it doesn't wanna do more, it needs to rest, good. I want you just to heed to that rest. I know it's so hard, especially you type A mamas, cause that is me. <laughs> Exhale all the way down and all the way up. Come on, let's do a few more if you can, if it feels good. Remember, when you're lunging, our body is not upright. We want to likely hinge forward more just with the belly and with the baby and the pressure that we have. And shake it out, nice job. All right, I want you to place your uh, chair here. You're gonna grab one single weight and we're gonna do some rows. So you have your option here. I'm going to have my feet place a uh, foot or so away from the chair, and I'm gonna lean forward, just have my, my one hand on the chair. We're gonna row here. Now, if this position is like, uh-uh, there's just too much going down here, I just, I just, it doesn't feel good, um, my midline doesn't feel good, and I don't want you to quit, I want you to come to a wall, and you can do this very st similar stance. Let's get this out of the way. My left hand's on the wall, I'm gonna take a step back with my right, and now I'm just up against the wall. Same motion, we're gonna row. Okay guys, so join me, whether you are against the wall or if you are using the chair. Okay, so let's do this together. I'm aiming for 12 reps, but remember, listen to your body. If 12 is too much, go to where you feel comfortable. I want you to exhale all the way up, engaging that TA. And also you might wanna keep engaging that TA all the way down. Good job, let's go other side. I'm just gonna flip my chair around so you guys can see me. All right, let's go other side. Nice gentle hugging in a baby with that TA. you guys doing? Last one. Nice job. I'm going to place that weight down. 
I'm still gonna continue to have my chair here. We're gonna do some burpees. Uh-huh, don't worry. <laughs> These are burpees that you can totally do. All right, so instead of a jump up, I just want you to place your arms up. I want you to take your hands down to the bench, to your chair, and you can step back. You don't have to step all the way back into a plank, but engage TA, step a little step, step forward, and up. Now, if using this is just still too low for you, no problem, come with me to the wall, we're gonna do the same thing. Arms up, hands back to the door, step back, step back, step forward, and up. So you can simulate doing that burpee in whichever manner feels good for you. Okay, I'm gonna continue going. Let's go for 30 more seconds, guys, in whichever form you want to do it. And I always get asked a lot, how do I know if I'm in the safe zone with my workouts? Well, you know if you're in the safe zone, if you can continue to have a conversation. I know most of us don't work out. If we're working out alone, we're not working out and talking to ourselves. But in the pregnancy situation in case, yes, I want you to be having a conversation with yourself, checking with yourself. Can I still talk and maintain, you know, enough oxygen or am I, <gasps> Right, we never wanna to get to that point where we are gasping for air. All right, ladies, um, we are gonna take our chair here. We're gonna do a little hip hinge. I want you hands behind your ears. You're going to exhale, engage TA, hinge forward. Keep exhaling as you come up. Again. This is not a squat, this is a hinge. I want you to think about hinging and getting baby out of um, the bassinet, out of crib. Exhale, engage TA, exhale, and all the way up. Let's go for one more. Nice work, and shake it out. All right, we're actually gonna take a seat now. And I want you, before you take a seat, grab your weights, put them close-ish to you, so you can pick them up when needy. All right, we're gonna take a little seated stretch here. I want you to take your hands back behind your head, and I want you to ramp your neck back, and just think about, okay, can I draw that neck back? Without looking up to the sky, you should feel a nice stretch in your upper back, in your traps. And I want you to bring those arms down. When you take your right hand, you're gonna cross it over to the outside of your left, and just a nice, gentle stretch here. And let's switch. While we're doing this, we're being aware of what's happening down our midline. Are we, you know, leaning back? Are we seeing any coning or doming shape down the midline? Of our belly. If so, then maybe we want to think about our ribs cage coming down. We might want to not twist as much as we currently are twisting. I know baby has put a lot of pressure out and we want to minimize the strain and stress that we have on that connective tissue, the linea alba. All right, from here, we're going to take those weights and I want you to gently get them as I'm speaking. So you're gonna grab your weights and we're gonna get into some bicep curls. Now, I want you to turn those arms out to the side. We're gonna curl up and down and up and down. You guys got it, join me. exhaling all the way up the top. And even when we're doing this exercise, I want you to pay attention. What's happening in, happening in the midline of your belly? Every time you use some force or bring those arms up, are you seeing some doming or coning shape? If so, let's change our breath strategy. Exhale up, inhale down. Last one. Good job. All right, shake that out. We're gonna take those arms, weights or non, no weights, and we're gonna get into a shoulder press. Now, the higher we press up overhead, this, yes, might be more challenging, but we might also see that doming 
happening down the midline. So let's see if we can change it to exhale all the way up, keep exhaling all the way down. If this is too much, we're gonna change our range of motion. And we're just gonna bring it halfway up, maybe to about head height and down. Once you've get, we got really fatigued, I want you to place the weights down. Remember, we're not pushing through, we're not fighting. We're surrendering. <laughs> I know it's so hard. This is also practice for, for labor, right? You have to surrender. We, we really do. We have to yield to those things that we cannot control. And break those arms down. I know you're feeling those shoulders. Okay. Now, we're gonna do uh, a modified squat. So we're gonna start from seated to standing. And here's what that's, let's do this every day anyway, going to the toilet. Now your option, if you wanna hold the weights or not, maybe you don't have to do those shoulder presses. Uh, weights racked on your shoulders, optional. And I want your legs out at 90 degrees. So you're gonna push through those heels. Exhale to come to stand up. And then you're gonna come back down. Now watch yourself when you come up to standing. I don't want you to boom, do this, right? Okay, we don't wanna be doing that. We don't wanna be, you know, over exerting or putting too much pressure again down the midline. So let's stop all that rocking, the tilting, and we're just gonna come up. You can squeeze your glutes, yes, but try not to thrust your hips out in front. If you need those hands down to, at your side to help you hold on to the chair, bench, whatever you have, that is okay too. Let's go, last one. And rest, shake that out. Okay, guys, we're gonna come to our stretch portion, but I want you to find a place against the wall. And we're just going to practice yielding our body to, you know, what's happening. And we need to also practice deep squats to help us to birth baby out. So I want you to lean up against the wall and you might actually want to have a chair. So I'll show you from the side. You might actually want the chair to kind of help you and guide you down. So I've got my wide stance here. I'm coming down towards the floor. If you want to put a yoga block here, you can. If you want to have your chair out in front here, you can. You cannot see when I do that. But you can also be sinking down to the entire floor. You don't have to hold a squat. And sitting right here is just really comfortable. Hips are open and I'm just gonna hang out. And so what we're doing is inhaling and exhaling. I want you to listen to your breath. And I, while you're sitting here, I want you to imagine that your vagina, I would say the flower balloon breath, is open. And every time you exhale, it opens. Every time you inhale, it opens. I'm gonna get in a little bit deeper here and hang out right here. So yeah, it's uncomfortable, right? If you're actually not sitting on the ground, this is uncomfortable. That's why I like the wall. But I want you to feel this is work and I need to release my pelvic floor and not have my pelvic floor so tight. Glooming the pelvic floor, opening the vagina on the inhale and the exhale. All right, let's go a couple more. And guys, you know what? I want to remind you that no matter how many videos you might see, there are no exercises that's going to make your birth easier or eliminate the need for intervention. You know, we can do everything in our power. Maybe you've stayed healthy, you've exercised, you've eaten well, you've got a doula, you know, tell the floor with you. You've done all of the things, but I wanna tell you that all these things that you've done, yes, has definitely made your ability to manage um, and, and, and grow through this pregnancy. It has definitely helped you, but I just wanna remind you that birth is unpredictable and we cannot always have a hand in that. We cannot, I know we all have a plan A, but do we all have a plan B? Just remember, 
The first unpredictable, other things can happen and never blame yourself. You did everything in your power for it to go the way that you wanted, but things don't always go the way that we planned. All right, I want you to come out of this and just remind you that if things don't happen the way you want it to, it is not a failure on your part in any way. All right, we're gonna get into a child pose. I want your heels together, knees splayed apart, and you're going to come and sit back. I want you to walk your fingertips forward. Oh, this feels good right here, my side, my lats. Ha, ah, I don't want you to open your jaw. I want you to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Ha, ah, inhale. Exhale, open mouth. Ah. At the same time as you exhale, I want your pelvic floor, your vagina to just be open and think of not, not squeezing, not clenching. I want everything in your body relaxed. Your eyebrows are relaxed, your jaw is relaxed. And I want you to really make that ah, exhale sound. However it sounds for you. Inhale through your nose, exhale. A few more. And slowly come on up to all fours. Guys, it is so good to practice this exhale breath with your mouth open. It is such a maternal instinct. When I was having my second baby, I just uh, had this like, almost like a bear noise and it just came instinctively and I think it's just really great to practice that before that time comes so you can just kind of transition to that period to that point in your labor where it just comes naturally and you know what to do. Ladies I want to thank you so much for joining me if you are looking for other um, pregnancy workouts see them down below and I look forward to working out with you in your postpartum journey. So make sure whether you have a C-section or vaginal birth, I have videos for you. So please come back to the Strong Mom channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.